Hi. Welcome back to Buoyancy. So a uh, little bit of a mistake last time. This cube was lying. It's not actually a cube. Take the measurements here. See the front face. The front face is 5.2. Unfortunately, the height is 5. And going back that way is also 5. So you change your calculations and do 5 times 5 times 5.2, that'll match up better with the displacement in water. So now let's talk about the cylinder. So you're going to take the cylinder and you want to calculate the volume of the cylinder using a ruler. The, uh, the formula for that is pi r squared times height. So the diameter is just about 3.2 radius being half of that, of course, and the height of the cylinder is about 5.6. Now this is going to be a little bit inaccurate because the little tip of the battery there, but overall with all the ridges, it should come out about the same. So before we do the displacement, we've got to talk about the weight out of water versus the weight in water. So this is the weight out of water. It is pretty much exactly one Newton. Now, while we do this, we will also be displacing the water to calculate the volume. Um, but first, let's talk about this. So if I get that just in there, just displacing enough water. We'll be able to see that that is just about half a Newton. So that's actually kind of interesting. So pull that out there. And now we can measure this. So if this isn't accurate enough, I'll pour it into there. But I can't pour from there right into there. So take this water that was displaced. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it in here, I think. This is 100, okay. So if we take a look there, that is just about 38 milliliters. So, that's about it. Oh, uh, that's not it, according to my mom. So, if we measure the uh, mass of this and multiply that by 9.8, which is the factor for gravity, we can find the weight of this. So, it's a little too much, it's way too much. Okay, so it's 130 something. There we go. That is 134.9. Uh, there you have it.